Hello everyone. Today we will solve one problem on Crowley's component of acceleration involving a trunnion joint. Here is my problem statement. This is the given mechanism. R is the slotted trunnion. Here it is the slotted trunnion. Link PQ slide in the trunnion. Link PQ which is at 35 degree with the horizontal slides inside this trunnion R. And link ST slides vertically in the guide P. This is guide P and link ST which carries trunnion R slides vertically inside this guide P. Angular velocity of link PQ is given as 30 radian per second counterclockwise. We have to determine acceleration of link ST. So the first step we will draw the configuration diagram. For a configuration diagram let us take a scale of 1 cm equals to 50 mm. So first of all I will draw this horizontal line and on this horizontal line let us mark point P the first pivot and the vertical link is at a distance of 300 mm from P so 300 divided by scale factor 50 gives 6 centimeters so 300 divided by 50 is 6 centimeters so through this point at 6 cm from P is my vertical link. This is the vertical link ST which is sliding inside this guide P. Okay. Now this is guide P. This point is at 6 centimeters from P. Now at P at 35 degrees with the horizontal in clockwise direction is my link PQ. So I will draw the link PQ at 35 degrees from horizontal 10, 20, 30, 35. This is the 35. So 35 degrees. So this line will pass through this point, and here is the trunnion joint attached to the vertical link. So this link is link PQ. Okay, this link is link PQ and this is vertical link carrying a trunnion joint we will name this trunnion joint as R okay and R is on ST R is on link ST this is vertical link ST so R is on ST this is point P and this just below the point R lies point Q on this rotating link and this link is rotating in counterclockwise direction like this this link is rotating in counterclockwise direction so this completes the configuration diagram so instead of like this we can show it like this also so the link is rotating in counterclockwise direction now after the configuration diagram we will proceed to draw the velocity polygon now in the velocity polygon first of all we will plot the velocity of fixed point P so let us take point P as fixed point So for fixed link P, its velocity is 0, so we will indicate the velocity of fixed link by a 0 length vector point P in the velocity polygon. The next link, let us take link PQ. For link PQ, we will find out velocity of Q relative to P, which is equals to radius of rotation QP into its angular velocity. So length of QP is not mentioned in the 
diagram but from this construction of configuration diagram we can find out the length so this is equals to 7 point 7.2 centimeters into the scale we have taken is 50 mm into angular velocity of the link is 30 so 7.2 centimeters into 50 mm will give the actual length of link pq so this is equals to 10.8 meter per second so velocity of q relative to p is 10.8 meter per second in magnitude to plot the length of this to plot the vector of this length we will take a scale of 1 centimeter equals to 2 meter per second in velocity polygon so 10.8 divided by 2 is 5.4 so we will draw a vector of length 5.4 centimeters to represent velocity of q relative to p now velocity of q relative to p vqp is perpendicular to link or radius of rotation pq we know that and we also know that vqp the vector will pass through point p which we know in the velocity diagram so I will draw line perpendicular to radius of rotation PQ I will draw a line perpendicular to radius of rotation PQ and passing through point P which will represent line of action of VQP so this is the line perpendicular to QP So VQP vector will pass through point P and in this direction perpendicular to radius of rotation PQ. Now the link is rotating in counterclockwise sense. So Q relative to P will move in upward direction. So VQP is represented by vector PQ. So P should lie at the tail of the vector and the vector will go in upward direction. And length of vector is 10.8 divided by 2 is 5.4 centimeters in upward direction. So this is VQP represented by vector PQ. This vector represents velocity of P relative to Q represented by vector PQ. Now next after PQ is link QR. For QR, Q slides relative to R. So sliding velocity of QR is unknown, but we know that the velocity vector will be parallel to the line of stroke. So this is the direction of sliding velocity of Q relative to R. Okay, and we know that V sqr will pass through point q which is known in the velocity polygon the magnitude of this vector is unknown so we'll draw a line of arbitrary length through point q and parallel to the line of stroke of slider q so this is the line parallel to line of stroke of slider q which represents sliding velocity of q relative to r vector is passing through q and the direction of VSQR is parallel to the sliding velocity of Q relative to R. Now next, number 3 is link R, this vertical link, Trunnion R, which slides inside the fixed guide P. So sliding velocity of Trunnion R relative to P, which is unknown in magnitude, so we will draw a vector of arbitrary length to represent VSRP passing through point P because this vector will pass through point P. We have point P with us in velocity polygon. So we will draw a line of arbitrary length representing VSRP through point P and in this direction parallel to the 
sliding of vertical link inside this guide so this represents sliding velocity of trunnion r with respect to fixed guide now read the names of the vectors v s r p this is velocity of r relative to p so it must be represented by vector p r so p to r because this will be point r since this vector is passing through r and this vector is also passing through r so point of intersection of both these vectors will locate point r and since this is velocity of r relative to p it will be represented by vector p r next this is velocity of q relative to r which will be represented by vector r to q so this is v s q r so this completes the velocity polygon now from velocity polygon we can determine the unknown sliding velocities of q relative to r and r relative to p so let us find out this sliding velocity of q relative to r is equals to length of vector r q into scale factor so length of vector r q is length of vector r q is 3.6 centimeters into scale factor is 2 meter per second so this gives 7.2 meter per second so sliding velocity of q relative to r that is link pq inside trunnion r is 7.2 meter per second now sliding velocity of trunnion r in the fixed guide vertical sliding velocity equals to length of vector pr into scale factor which is equals to so pr is equals to PR is equals to 6.5 6.5 into 2 is the scale factor this gives 13 meter per second is the velocity of vertical link inside the guide P so this completes the velocity polygon now in next lecture we will draw the acceleration polygon for this problem statement Thank you.